Okay. <laughs> Pedagogically, this is the cheeky tale of Inky the Octopus, who has vanished from the National Aquarium in New Zealand. He apparently broke out of his tank, slithered down a 50-metre drain pipe and disappeared into the sea. If you're on the lookout, Inky is reported to be about the size of a rugby ball and just as satisfying to boot over some posts. <laughs> Danny, who's run away as fast as their eight legs can carry them? Yeah, well, this is an octopus called Inky who has made an escape from the National Aquarium in Lord New Zealand. Lord Inkelstein, they should call him, I think. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, by breaking out of the tank, slithering down a 50-metre drain pipe and disappearing into the sea. So, in other words, gone offshore. Uh, <laughs> so, my favourite bit about this story is, all, is the quote from the person who's running the aquarium, Rob Yarrell, who said, Octopuses are famous escape artists. I don't think he was unhappy with us. Now, I, I'm only a Jew from Pinner. But how did he know that? <laughs> he would want to know what's happening on the outside. That's just his personality. This is Inky, and he's always been a bit of a surprise octopus. <laughs> we have another octopus, Blotchy, but Inky had the personality. <laughs> well, it's absolutely just an octopus. Get that real. was the sad part of that <laughs> yeah, story, it was sad. poor Blotchy. So Blotchy's there going, well, at least I'm still here. And the guy at the zoo's like, well, it's not got much of a personality, is it? <laughs> and poor wee Blotch is like, no, with mar maracas behind him, I can do it, I can do it! He's you know, working on an escape by making a glider out of cuttlefish. <laughs> you're in an octopus double act and you're not the personality. What do you do? You just provide the legs? Like, that is really hard. And if you look at it in the papers, they do a whole map of his escape route, where yeah. apparently, it's quite it's conspiratorial, to the top of the tank was left ajar. In the middle of the night, Inky decided, because there was no one looking, to he kind of, and then he found this tiny little thing, and he went, oh, sod it, I'm going to go for it. And Inky went. Now, they've said he's not been stolen. I think that's a more logical explanation. Well, yeah, that's the thing. They only suspect I'm... that he's escaped. All they know is he's disappeared. When I saw that, that there's, I, there's no video, there's no proof. They just yeah. went into the tank, and he wasn't there. So he's a go... surprise octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Someone might have sold him. One of the zookeepers might have like done he something. Could have might have used one deals. of his long tentacles to reach the key that was hanging on there <laughs> by the yeah. sleeping jailer and pull it into the cage and undo it, and, and then, then knock the jailer out and put his clothes yes. on. Yes. <laughs> The Guardian said the escape, we call it a brazen escape. How do they know it was brazen? They don't know, it's, they don't even know, it's any speculation that it's escaped yeah. at all. It could be, could be this sort of caretaker. Oh, I don't, mm, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it could be, it's going to be, if anyone's eating inky, it's blotchy. <laughs> the, the bitter octopus. So you said it's another personality, yeah, did you? Exactly. I'll show you.